Now the final reason why you might not be doing well despite knowing your content is that you might not know the content as well as you think you do. And this isn't even about memorization yet, right? So econ is all about cause and effect, right? All the various economic theories are about certain causes and certain outcomes. And so the logical component of comprehension becomes very important. So if you're reading your lecture notes and you're going like, yeah, that makes sense, and that makes sense, and that makes sense, but you never actually practice writing those things out, you never try explaining those things, maybe your logic is flawed. Maybe what you thought you knew isn't exactly what the theory is supposed to be. And that is a very common problem. And that has to be fixed by learning content the right way, which is you're gonna read, you're gonna digest, you're gonna annotate, you're gonna practice the explanation. Um, what I teach a lot of my students to do is to either open your voice recorder function or your phone, or open a Word document and just, well, explain the concept to yourself. Type an explanation for yourself. And show it to someone else, show it to your parents, show it to your siblings and go, does this make sense to you? Because if it doesn't make sense to a lay person, it's probably a lot worse in the eyes of the examiner because it's probably making no economic sense.